Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have the two bottles set up. The one on the left has the vacuum in it and the one on the right doesn't. They're both Gorsh bottles. I use those because that's basically what I had. And I sprayed some matte black paint on both of them. So they're pretty much identical bottles. Um, the one on the right, these have been sitting out in the sun for about two hours and it is 61 degrees outside. The one on the right has a temperature of 106 degrees Fahrenheit. The one with the vacuum tube has a temperature just right at 146 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about a 40 degree difference between the two. You can see how powerful the vacuum is. Now, commercially available vacuum tubes that you buy are longer. They uh, have more surface area to the sun compared to the amount of water in them. These are uh, thick bottles. So being that it's um, 61 degrees outside, that's a pretty good increase in temperature. Yesterday I was able to take the bottle with the vacuum and put the small parabolic mirror on it, the very small beauty mirror. It's, uh, it doesn't really, it, it's powerful, I mean it'll break glass and everything, but it's not strong enough to really boil water. And I was able to get this to bring water to a full boil. The bottle on the right with the same mirror only reached a maximum temperature of 153 degrees. So it's quite a difference and it was 71 degrees out yesterday when I did that. So I'm going to be testing these in the summertime. I'm also going to be comparing them with a Fresnel lens on them to see how the heat difference is between the two. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Oh and also uh, here's the scientific data with the cool down times and the heat up times.